lawsuits accusing Logan Correctional Center employees of sexual misconduct. Monday, a correctional food service supervisor, Jeffrey Dozier, charged with three counts of sexual misconduct. The lawsuit on September 14th of this year states he's accused of touching a woman inmate sexually. But this is not the only case. Just a few days later, another lawsuit filed September 17th. A 42-year-old Jane Doe says Milo Zemer sexually assaulted her in 2017. The correctional maintenance electrician is accused of harassing the woman, including forcing her to perform oral sex on him. Zemer is charged with custodial sexual misconduct in December of 2017. Another case. An inmate, a mother, started her 120-day boot camp December 4th, 2015. During that time, she claims one correctional officer raped her. The lawsuit filed November 28th, 2017 identifies Eric Colrus. She says Colrus told her to meet him in the laundry room December 28th and made sexual advances. She says she ran away when he told her to come back. That's when she says he raped her. Eric Colrus, 37, was arrested May 18, 2018 for failure to appear on a charge of custodial sexual misconduct. One lawsuit says there are areas in the correctional center without cameras. In all incidents, the employees are no longer working at the correctional center. Definitely disturbing. There are several other names mentioned in the lawsuits for being unable to stop or intervene with the assaults. This includes wardens, compliance managers, mental health administrators, and other correctional officers. Corliss's case is scheduled for October 8th of next year. A source tells us the center has an ongoing project for installing more cameras. The Illinois Department of Corrections said they could not comment due to pending litigation.